Hi everybody and welcome back to a new video following the adventures of Ash and Bash. Getting to level 50. We're getting there. We're level 15. That's close. If you if you have a good memory, that's what level I was last episode. Uh yeah. Got my new little inventory stuff that I made. Oh, I'm sorry. I made it in the style of Dark Elf. Ooh. Forgive me. I didn't mean to. I wasn't paying attention. Oh well, that's fine. Sure, whatever. Alright, we're doing a dungeon. I'm gonna probably do these sequentially. I am gonna do these sequentially. Uh, no, not random. I, I think I'm gonna just do each one once. Uh, the level 1 and level 2. Uh, cause I've done dungeons a ton. And I really wanna try to like, get more into the PvP. Cause I haven't really, uh, tried for that. Ever. <laughs> but we're going to do a couple dungeons. Each one at least once. Uh, maybe once I get to like level 50 and I start doing like veteran dungeons. If I can do them. Uh, those take a while. Who knows. But anyways. Yeah, you notice how fast we uh, got in that game. Oh no, I didn't do my skills. That's one of the perks of being a tank. But also, shoot. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't, don't, don't go in there. Don't start combat until I'm... Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, I am a tank. Ah, like I said, that's one perk about being a tank is like dungeon times is like... The, the, the weight is non-existent, essentially. So that's nice. But in the meantime, I'm gonna be slow. Because... I ain't got no instigator. So this is all I do. I just go around and poke. I, I think like good tanks are supposed to have like a bunch of like buffs and debuffs and stuff. But I don't have any of that. Because I am not a good tank. I just taunt. That's all I do. The taunt is a debuff. That's all you get with me. That's all you get with me. Maybe I'm, like, one of those annoying tanks that's like, Hey, come on, do something! But, like, I'm doing the bare minimum as far as I'm concerned, so that's all, I, that's all you get. I mean, hopefully nobody's getting, like, hopefully I'm doing a well enough job, because I do get annoying, annoyed when, like, I run a dungeon and, like, I get, like, a healer who's not really a healer, you know? You know what I mean, like, if you played this game, you probably... And if you've played dungeons especially, like, you've probably come across people who queue as, like, a healer, but they don't have any healing skills equipped because they just queue as a healer for the fast queue times. So, uh, I hope people don't think that's what I'm doing. Because, like, it, it's nice having the fast queue times, but I at least try to... I try to do my role, you know? Because I'm, I'm going in here. I'm, I'm keeping the taunt. I'm, I'm trying to crowd control. I'm trying to crowd control. Ah! Oh gosh. See, like, this this, this group here, like, Gophead, our healer, you can see it on the left there, the, the one with, like, the sun symbol next to him. Like, I, uh, heal me. <laughs> heal me! Yeah, yeah, jerk! Oh, whatever. I'll just, I'll just pray, I suppose. That's almost as good as getting healed. Maybe I'll, I'll overwhelm him with my fire. Keep the taunt on him. Chest. Dude, what, what are you looking for chests right now? Come on, man. So, since I'm in like a dungeon with... Like, I'm level 15, so I think it kind of... It kind of groups you automatically with people that are similar to your level range. Like, I don't think there's anybody in my group that's going to be level 50. Oh, once I block this, I'll check. Oh, there are. Never mind. I, I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Whatever. Hold on. Let me put the head on the stick. Skish. All right. Where's this chest? Ah, I see it. 
Thank you, friend. But anyways, what I was saying is like, I don't know if they would want to like skip. In this dungeon, there's th this dungeon can la take like five minutes to do, because there's only you only have to do like two bosses, the the one with the two dog people and or the two dog things, and then the guy we just killed. Then you can skip to the final boss from here. Oop. Chests, you're ruining my game. But like, then you can skip to the final boss. But I don't know. Some people don't seem to enjoy that. I, I guess the people who don't like doing that are the people trying to get the set items from this dungeon. But I don't even know what set items there are here, so I don't know if they're good. Like, we, maybe I can imply that there's a imply imply skip imply skip. They don't want to skip. That's okay. We'll we'll just we'll just do the thing. I guess the point of the video is to like show you the dungeons but like come on if you're watching this video like i would imagine that you at least well actually no, no i'm not i don't know i don't know what kind of people are watching this video i don't know if the people watching this video are like people who watched or who play the game themselves or if they're just like if i just randomly popped up on your youtube playlist for some reason like i'm a nobody so if i'm on your playlist like Hey, thanks. <laughs> thanks for allowing, thanks for partaking in my uh, shenanigans. I'm honored. I truly am honored. Oh, heal me. Ah. I gotta keep a perma shield up just so I don't freaking die. I mean, I would heal myself, but I don't have the skill. I don't have the skill yet. I can't do it. I need dragon's blood. Boosh. Okay, we're almost done anyways. Nice first dungeon. Nice, nice, m nice. Just intro dungeon. But yeah, if I popped up on your, on your YouTube feed. I don't know what it's called. Like, if, if you're just randomly watching one of my videos, like... Hey, you're witnessing greatness right now. You can you can tell all your friends you were there. You were there when this Ashen Bash fella before he wowed everybody. Oh, not even before. Oh yeah, you should have seen me in the in the battlegrounds. I'm not gonna say I haven't already made my mark or anything, but like because I have obviously in battlegrounds. All right, this is the final boss. Keep that shield up. Keep that shield up. Yeah. Uh-oh. Keep that shield up. Ain't got no healer. So I gotta keep the shield up. Who needs heals when you have DPS, am I right? Light them on fire. Light them on fire. I like it when the things glow. I like it when it glows. I like to watch the flames. Alright, easy enough. Cool, sweet. Okay, who do I gotta talk to to get a level around here? Um, oh, there they go. Oh, hush. Let's go. Come on. I ain't got all night. Or day. I mean, depending on when you're watching this. Don't want to break the immersion or anything. Yes, you secret. Bye. Okay, great. Sweet social group. Get me out of here. Next dungeon coming up. Isn't this exciting so far? Oh man, I want to go back to Battlegrounds. <laughs> not to say that I'm not enjoying myself thoroughly. But uh You know, I've done all these dungeons. I've done them all. You've probably already seen them. What am I even doing? What's the point of life? You know what I mean? What's the point of living if you've already done all the ESO dungeons? Dungeons. What's the point of living if you can't talk? Okay, that's not to make fun of, like, <laughs> mute people. So, <laughs> you, you, that, something that's interesting is 
mute, like, mute means silent, right? Like, if you mute your phone, it's on silent or something like that. And that's what it means when, like, somebody can't talk, somebody cannot talk. They're mute, right? Even though they can usually make, like, noises and stuff. Usually it's like, I don't know. Okay, I'll get, uh, uh, this is about to be, like, a, a tangent off of my tangent, but, so, ooh, ghost, are you scared? Okay, so, like, before people who couldn't talk were called mute, they were called dumb, right? Or, or something like that. They were called, like, lame, or, d no, lame is when you can't walk. See, that's another one that's weird, but they were called dumb. If you couldn't talk, you were called dumb. What? was that all about that's like a victorian thing or something like that like the 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 branding of being dumb that's like from olden times right maybe in the 40s you were called dumb too but still like who was in charge of that what a jerk uh hey you can't talk what are you dumb <laughs> so you know they're not dumb they can't freaking talk they probably can't understand what you're saying because hey next tangent is that usually people who can't talk are just deaf you know they're they're not blind all right where are we going spindle clutch well obviously they're not blind <laughs> did you know that blind people can't talk because they can't see their words <laughs> no deaf people can't talk because they can't hear themselves talking they can still make noises but I would imagine most of them don't want to because most of the noises noises they make uh isn't it, it's just grunting right not to make fun of deaf people or anything but like that's that's just the truth of it like unless you have like partial deafness then then they do look up look up uh helen keller look up a speech by helen keller when she was older that's like i don't know if helen keller was full deaf was she correct me if i'm wrong I think Helen Keller had, You're not familiar. I think, I think she was full deaf, but she didn't, she wasn't born. All right, never mind. I just don't know. So if she wasn't full, ooh, heavy sack. If she wasn't full deaf, then she like could hear herself a little bit, but barely, you know what I mean? So that's why they like, it, you look up the video of Helen Keller giving like a speech and then like, you'll know what I'm talking about with like the mannerisms of her, of her speech and stuff. That's how deaf people for the most part like talk from from what i've heard like in, on videos and from people i've met like people that can't hear th they talk like that i remember in elementary school um it wasn't middle school i think it was i, I was i think it was in middle school i'm not doing very well right now <laughs> what is our group we're missing somebody but i remember in middle school that a uh a deaf woman came to get like talk to our class and she had partial, I don't know if she had partial he hearing or not, but she was talking as she was signing her words, right? Uh, so, and she was, I'm not going to imitate it because that might be uh, insulting. <laughs> but like she was making, she was saying the words that she was signing. Like she knew what she was, I can't remember if she like lost it like halfway through ha life or something. The point is, People who can't talk, but they try to talk, they have a very particular way of speaking. What was my point? I don't even... That deaf people don't generally try to talk because <laughs> they grunt. That's my point. Deaf people are just animals is my point. They're just animals. If you ever see a deaf person, don't... Don't, just stay away from them. That's gross. No, I'm just kidding. Deaf people are fine. Um, I don't know any personally, any any deaf people personally, but I have no reason to believe like any deaf person is like a, a mean person. I'm sure they have the capacity to be mean, but what the shit? Whoa, okay. Anyways, you know, talking about deaf people, her insulting like a percent of the population for like no reason how, how many people are deaf i'm going off of like u.s census or something like that like how many people in the u.s are deaf let me know in the comments below if you are deaf because <laughs> like i don't have i i don't know how good the subtitles are on youtube but <laughs> 
All right, I'm gonna just stop talking about this. Anyways, there's a big spider. Look at that. Isn't that something? Yeah, so, hey, this this is the, the... Yeah, 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 this is for a quest, the Undaunted quest. Ah! Stab, stab, okay. Um... Oh, crap. I didn't start a timer. I don't know how long this video's been going on. I'm gonna assume that after this one is... Nice and short video. I'll stop it after this one. Why not? Why not? But before then, I have to go on another tangent. Let's see. Let's see. What's in the news today? Um... I don't... Uh, let's not get political or anything. While I was talking about, like, the whole death thing, there, there was something popped in my head. I don't know... You may... Let me know if you've seen this movie, but there's a movie out there. It's a silent film called... It's called, like, The Box of Dr. Caligari or something like that. It was, like, groundbreaking... Ground... It was gra uh, considered groundbreaking in, like, its set design because it was, like... I don't know if it was considered groundbreaking, but I took a, a film class and, like, art classes. And they used that movie as an example for, like, Kiro Skiro, which is, like, the artistic balance of light and dark. As well as, like, surrealism, because the sets are very surreal. Watch the movie. I'm sure you can find it on YouTube. Like, watch it legally before you, like, go searching on YouTube just for, like... Actually, no, I think it might be in public domain, so, like, whatever. Fuck it, look it up on YouTube. Who cares? I'm not your dad. But, um... I was thinking about this when I, when I was talking about the deaf person, but there's a villain... Okay, spoilers for the movie, Dr. Caligari. Or the box of Dr. Caligari. So, there's a villain... In this movie, so the movie revolves around this guy named Caligari, right? Dr. Caligari. I don't know if I'm getting the name right. I'm not going to look it up, but like, you, you can find out based off of context. The main villain is this, uh, uh, what are they called? Like a sideshow, uh, person? He, the per, like, the beat, the beat, the PT Barnum. Like, the guy who, like, pays the actual attractions. That's Dr. Caligari. And then the attraction... Noob jump. The attraction is a somnambulist. That's how it's called in, like, the, the silent... Like, you know how silent films go. It shows the scene, and then there's, like, a cutaway, and then it shows the words that people are saying. The words that they use to describe this uh, person is a somnambulist. And I had to look this up because I didn't know what that is. A somnambulist is a sleepwalker. I don't even know if I'm saying the word right. I've never heard it said. I've only read it. Because <laughs> it's a silent film, you know, because, like... But anyways, like, the point... Th there's really no connection between, like, deaf people and somnambulism. It just made me think about how, like, sleepwalking is creepy. I'm not trying to say deaf people are creepy. I should just probably stop bringing it up completely. But anyways, like sleepwalkers, sleepwalking in general, that's just kind of odd, isn't it? Like, I mean, it's nothing. It's just like a neurological thing. Like, it, it, it has nothing to do with anything other than they're in like a half state of awake in the sleep kind of or something like that. I'm not a sleep doctor. <laughs> Could I have fooled you if I said I was, though? Probably not. But anyways, so, like, sleepwalking, sleepwalk walking is creepy. And another reason I think that, personally, I'm not saying this is objectively true, like, don't, if you don't think, if you think sleepwalking is great and you just love it and it's everything, it's like, you do you, like, great. Like, let me know how you feel about sleepwalking. I I'm sure it's... I'm sure it's lovely. But I remember watching a true crime documentary or something on, like, TV. At an age, I definitely was not supposed to watch it. And at an hour of night. A time of night that I definitely was not supposed to be awake. But anyways, I watched it on TV. 
and it was about okay spoilers for not really spoilers but like i guess trigger warning for like for axe murder <laughs> so, trigger warning for that so the story revolved around a family that was attacked by their son allegedly attacked by their son he was found guilty but that doesn't necessarily mean he actually did it but anyways so allegedly this family's son came into their house at night. Oh, come on, I just started the fight. Don't say chess now. Whatever, I can take him. I can take him, I'm not scared. I got the DPS, maybe. I, I definitely have the shieldish. They, they're not going to be able to kill me. But anyway, so they, he snuck into their house at night and he attacked him with, a, with an axe, right? So he like chopped up their bodies and their faces and stuff. And the the next morning they 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 weren't killed immediately. The mother actually survived actually. Actually, actually. Actually counter. Um the mother survives and she's actually actually Jesus. She helps in like deciding or finding out that it was in fact their son that did it but like that was one of the big things is like she wasn't in a as people were arguing that since she had just been axe murdered or attempted to be axe murdered that she wasn't in a proper state of mind to you know finger the perp essentially but anyways like the the son was still convicted but what my what i was going to say is the father who did die he did not die immediately. So he woke up in the morning after being axe murdered. He woke up the next morning. And this is like when I was a kid and they told and they said this, it was a very creepy visual to like be to think about. The father got out of his bed and like he went to the bathroom. They they, they could follow the blood uh the blood like the blood path of like where he was bleeding. They could follow that path to see like what he did after he was attacked and he went to the bathroom and he, they said he looked at the mirror and based on the amount of blood that was there he was at stood at the mirror for a very long time and then he went downstairs and started doing the dishes okay i'm lagging jeez oh i don't have enough inventory that's what's going on oh then i can't complete this quest but he goes to the uh, the kitchen and starts doing the dishes too like he doesn't do do him well like like obviously he just got his head chopped open he's an idiot so r.i.p this person though like no disrespect like if i was axe murdered i'd also be an idiot probably but he goes to the uh kitchen and tries to do the dishes and everything and then he eventually passes out and dies um and the reason I bring up that bring that up after mentioning somnambulist is because like his state of mind had to be some sort of somnambulism, or or sleepwalking rather. I don't know how to use that word, <laughs> but he was like essentially sleepwalking, right? Well, anyways, let me know what you think about that. I know that was a, that was a real upper, you know. I bet you that made you very motivated. Don't commit axe murder and don't make fun of deaf people. All right, that's gonna do it for this episode. Uh, like and subscribe <laughs> and let me know what you'd like to see in the future <laughs> until next time talk to you later